listen, but got All right, so probably the most asked question I ever get is, what do you actually do for a living? So I do a couple of things, and I think uh, most of what I do is pretty much summarized in the ebook that I wrote, which is three ways to make 100K from your computer. Now, the most prevalent thing I do is obviously IAG Media, which is my marketing agency. Now, we're mainly a social media marketing agency, so we do things like Facebook advertising, content creation, we do some email marketing, we build some sales funnels. Now with IAG Media, I mainly started off as content. Content's always been something I've been very passionate about and it's something I've been good at. And in the world of content, especially if you're going corporate world and if you have the right networks and connections, like companies just pay thousands and thousands for content. And especially on a monthly basis, if you can get them on retainers, it's quite a good business model. Now the problem with that is I just, you know, like once you start monetizing content, like I just didn't really enjoy it anymore. And also it's the fact that I need to be here in London, which I do a lot of traveling, so that's not very convenient. So content is still something that we do, but to me personally, it's not something that I can scale. I've talked about this before, how there's somewhat of a glass ceiling because it's literally just me and my team of freelancers. Now, I, as I said, I don't want to get offices. I don't want to payroll. So this is all stuff I need to keep in mind when I'm thinking about scaling, when I'm thinking about how far I can take my vertical. So right now with IAG Media, I'm really pushing email marketing, building sales funnels for clients and Facebook advertising because this is all stuff I can do remotely and this, and this is stuff I can train other people to do so that once again, as I said, like I do a lot of traveling. As I said, it, it, it just keeps keeps more of a rigid structure. So that's my marketing agency. Now, apart from my marketing agency, it's still very little at this point, but I do something called affiliate marketing. Now, affiliate marketing is any time that I recommend or promote a product, I get a commission of it. There's a lot of stuff that I use from a marketing agency, personally, stuff like Sprout Social, Ad Espresso, Click Funnels. All these are amazing, amazing tools that I use personally for my own business. So when other people ask me what goes into the structure of my marketing agency, it's very easy for me to promote something like that. And a lot of these affiliate programs, they have like recurring payments. So say someone signs up to the first month at say like $100 a month, I could potentially get 30% of every single month that they continue. And that's pretty much affiliate marketing in the backdrop. That's me not really pushing for it. What I'm introducing right now is actual funnels to ensure that I'm making money even when someone isn't inquiring about it but what I mean by that is coming out with say an ebook that basically just talks about the five tools every social media marketer needs I run Facebook adverts to that I build a mailing list around it they get their ebook and then right at the end there's affiliate links to all the services I promote. And then I can actually use that mailing list and that mailing list has said, look, we're interested in digital marketing, social marketing, stuff like that. To say when I recommend them a course later on, once again, that's like, it's pretty much just warm leads and it's very easy to shift the buyer's interest from one facet of digital marketing to the other. And the last thing that I do is coaching and consulting. It's something that I put off for a while, but within like sort of the last month, it's something that I've started to introduce simply because of the amount of money that I've spent on my own coaching, my own consulting, getting advisors, getting courses, stuff like that. And because of all of that and, you know, sort of my experience with building my own digital marketing agency, I felt as though I was very well versed to come out and start doing some coaching. Now, when I do consulting for companies, it's at 275 an hour and it's minimum of five hours. So usually a company will have me come in and talk to either their marketing department or their sales team. And all of this training and conversation revolves around how to pull more money from their digital marketing. Or apart from that, I'll speak directly to the CEO or the founder. Once again, it all depends on the size of the company. So as I said, usually once you go into the corporate world, it, it's very, very lucrative. All of that is fun but it's nowhere near as fulfilling as teaching an actual student, seeing them apply the knowledge and then get results from that. So really that's been the biggest reason why I decided to get into coaching one-to-one -one with students. So once again, the problem with that is it's fun, but I do need to think about the potential problems with scale. You know, at 125 an hour, how many hours can I scale that to while managing other facets of my business? So really that's why I'm looking to come out with a course pretty soon because at that point I can help unlimited amount of people. And yes, it might be two to three months of hard work actually creating an amazing product. To that point, I can market it and it, it's somewhat of passive income. So really those are the three main ones. And keep in mind, I'm 17 years old. There's things, for example, like real estate that I can't yet get into. When I turn 18, I'm actually looking to buy some garage boxes in Holland. Now, after the caretaker of the boxes actually takes a percentage for himself, I still get a 9% yearly return on investment. And that's not taking into consideration the rising land prices. So really in terms of making money, there's slow growth strategies and quick growth. I want to play both sides of that game, but as I said, Unfortunately, because I'm not 18, there's a lot of things like building up a stock portfolio or investing into real estate, which is possible, 
but it just comes with so many problems at this point that I'd rather wait four or five months until I turn 18 myself. So pretty much to sum up everything I do, it all revolves around digital marketing. My network itself also makes me a lot of money now. So for me to connect one person to the other could potentially mean up to five grand in commission for myself. This sounds so cliche, but really if you can provide value and serve as many people, and more importantly, connect important people to each other, there's always a commission there for you. Now there's other little tidbits here and there like management fees. So for example, with my business partner, there's actually a project that we've been talking about. So his company makes 90 grand from that project. So what he does is he outsources it, all of it to me for 30 grand. I pay the workers 15 grand and then I keep 15 grand for myself as management fee. Now that hasn't gone through yet, but once again, that's just another example as to once you build up sort of business security and you have the right network, opportunities kind of come to you. Now let me give you another one. One of my old clients is actually about to start a GoFundMe campaign. Now what they're proposing is that I get 5% commission off of the entire GoFundMe campaign. It will be a lot of work to run a successful GoFundMe campaign. It's not easy. You need to spend a lot of time building up the marketing material, building the sales copy, running ads, building up a mailing list. So once again, that's a lot of work. But say the GoFundMe campaign flops, they only get 50 grand. I still take home two and a half K. Or a Say this thing does very well and hits a million then i could potentially take home 50 grand now once again that comes into fruition in around october really what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to just give you an idea of what goes on in my head when i start seeing these opportunities because once you get good at something opportunities kind of come to you and the biggest problem you'll have is which opportunity to take because some opportunities will end up incredibly profitable some will completely flop as i said but for now in terms of consistent income it's really ig media my marketing agency freelance content creation personally and all of my coaching services and really i think if you can have three sources of income when one is falling behind, it really gives you a lot of ease of mind. Now, as I said, I, I really do try to be as transparent as possible. So if there are any questions you have, if I've left stuff out, literally just leave it in the comments. I, I'm just sitting here with one of the content creators I work with, Jaden, he's behind the camera. We, we're having a coffee and uh, I decided I would uh, start rolling the camera. So yeah, as I said, any questions you have, just leave in the comments. I'm very, very transparent. And, uh, and yeah, I'll get to your question as quick as I can. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and if you're happy that I finally shined some light on what the fuck I actually do. <laughs> Leave a like, it means the world to me. I'll catch you guys next time.